Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us today on this session of how we do what we do here in FPA Activate. Um, today, I have my friend Colin Overweg with me here, and we're going to talk about utilizing videos with clients. Welcome, Colin. Thank you so much for having me. This is great. Do you just want to start off with an introduction of yourself and your firm? Sure. So like you said, my name is Colin Overway. Uh, I am the founder and owner of the uh, fee-only RIA called Advise Wealth Management. And uh, I started the, the company and operating out of uh, Michigan, uh, the Great Lakes State here. And uh, as of recently, have actually transitioned the firm to be primarily online. So it, it's kind of been a a, a gradual transition here over the last two years because when I started uh, in the broker dealer space for a number of years most of our meetings were traditional shaking hands in person and and that's really where I built my personal clientele when I started my business and then it started to expand from there I'm also a member of XY planning network um, which is a, a network of lots of advisors almost a thousand advisors uh, across the nation of uh, fee-only planners and one of the the big uh, unique pieces of their business is that we also have to offer flat fee models and we also have to be able to work virtually so they really helped me kind of uh, spearhead the idea of taking my meetings online and trying to do that originally just as a value add so some clients prefer not to go and try to find parking or not have to get a babysitter and they still need to you know, go through a financial plan or talk about some questions and to be able to offer that online, I think is a great value add that especially in these times today, as we're talking through uh, the coronavirus and here we are working from home ourselves, being able to at least offer of the virtual meeting as an option, I really feel like is almost going from just a value add and starting to become a necessity. For most advisors mm -hmm. um, so I'm really I feel so lucky and blessed to have kind of taken that that role uh, and, and expanded it to as my primary service and uh, it has really taken off well for, for my clients and, and for the business itself that's awesome so how are you leveraging video with clients then now yeah so I kind of see it as really just two uh, main segments so most people think of video as like a marketing tool right you want to uh, talk about the coronavirus or you want to talk about recessions or stock market or whatever the case and do an educational video um, so that's kind of the uh, one main source and I'm happy to expand upon some of the tools and resources I use there and then the other side uh, is really being able to continue to service clients. I've actually gone uh, a little bit above and beyond doing the in-service, being a virtual advisor, uh, mm -hmm. how can I bring value to my clients by using videos that are personalized? So mm -hmm. I actually, whether I am speaking with a new client or a prospect, and we have that initial phone call, I'll go ahead and send them a follow-up video, sharing with them a summary of our conversation, and what they can expect moving forward. And I found that to be tremendously valuable because mm -hmm. everyone knows financial planning is an intangible service. You know, we can't see it or touch it and every planner does it different. So being able to walk a prospective client with their own numbers and their, pers you know, their name on the, the plan and start to show them, hey, this is a rough draft plan. As we get working together, they can start to see and feel how we're going to build this thing out. So that has mm -hmm. really helped on the prospecting side for new clients and then mm -hmm. also on the follow up. So if we're in a financial plan and I'm walking a client through a complicated scenario and they're like, wait a minute, well, you know, how should I, how am I going to remember all this? My gosh, it's been a 60 or 90 minute meeting. Mm -hmm. We've all seen clients walk out of a finance meeting just with their <laughs> eyes glassed over. Um, mm -hmm. What I'm able to do is hit record whether we're either in a meeting kind of like what we're doing right now here mm -hmm. um, so that they have that resource. They can watch that video later and be mm -hmm. able to reflect on the things that we talked about or even be able to do a video when they're not there. So now mm -hmm. I've kind of expanded it so that we're not, we're not so uh, dependent on each other's schedule. We're not playing the calendar battleship time and time again, just mm -hmm. to you know, reiterate a financial plan or build upon a concept. I can actually create a video, send it to the client, they can watch it at their own time, 
reply back and say, hey, that was great, or can you show me another uh, different version of this plan? So it really has uh, kind of morphed and built uh, and, and created different channels of video use over the years. That's awesome. Well, I'm intrigued. Do you have any examples that you can show us? Here? Absolutely. Can you share some of your secrets with us. Yes, absolutely. So <laughs> because uh, we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> just, just you, just you, Stephanie. Okay. Um, okay. I won't so tell it's just one. between us here. I'll share all my secrets here, um, and we'll kind of start with maybe the more traditional side of the marketing because I think that's kind of where um, people are watching videos on LinkedIn and they're going, how did, how did they do that? So mm -hmm. I want to show you, uh, and maybe this is kind of level two, but I will, I will tell you when I started this, I have edited zero videos. I have never made a YouTube video uh, in my life until I started this firm and tried to, to get my name out there and kind of felt forced to start creating these videos. So I'll just walk you through the software that I use to create all my videos. Um, and you know, you can go on YouTube and look me up and see if these videos, if you want to take this advice, <laughs> because I feel, uh, you know, a little bit of imposter syndrome here. Like I am no expert, but let me at least uh, show you how I got started. No. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So the first, uh, piece of software that I use is OBS Studio. So this is a free uh, software that you can use and all it does is record. You can, you can choose where the recording is coming from. So you can either record your screen or you can record uh, yourself or if you want to, you can do both at the same time. So you'll see some videos where people are showing their screen and then their face is in the top right corner. This is the software that a lot, at least I use to record. Very, very simple and it's, there's a free version that you can download. So at least there's no risk here in creating uh, your, your first attempt. Uh, you'll probably you also- Are using the free version or? Yes, so I actually do use the free version. So that it is as simple as that. You download OBS and you're good to go. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of other recording softwares out there. This is just happens to be the one that I use. So I'm not associated with OBS by any means. I know as financial planners, we're really uh, into disclosures. So no <laughs> full disclosure there. Um, a second tool that I really enjoy using is a software called Doodly. So you'll probably see uh, in some of my videos, people using uh, animation in their video. And this is actually the software that I use to do that. So when I'm going through a financial plan or if I'm, I'm this is mainly for marketing purposes uh, and I'm trying to uh, show or illustrate an example, I'll go ahead and use the animation software. I think this was like 50 bucks or 60 bucks for a lifetime use. So not, uh, not crazy expensive, no subscription on Doodly. It's just a one-time fee for the, the marketing side, for the marketing piece. Now, the last one that I use. Hold on, quick question. Do you, yeah, yeah, so for, for Doodly, do you use a tablet or are you using a mouse or how, are you, how does that software actually work? Great question. So it's actually so much easier than that. Um, they have a number of different uh, human animations. So you can see this girl or this guy and you just simply drag and drop. And the wow. whole, the hand drawing here is you can actually pick whether you want um, uh, someone to be wearing a glove or a sleeve, or you can pick whatever a number of different hands that you want. And mm -hmm. all they do is just have this like small uh, scribble going on here. And when you go ahead and put that picture in, then you go back and press play, then the hand just simply draws it. And you, you can decide how much time you want the hand to take to draw it. So if I want to take a really long time to draw this television that uh, that they're doing right now, I can have them do that in 10 seconds. Obviously, mm -hmm. in this example, they're having them draw the television in like one second. Mm -hmm. So you just go in and drag and drop pictures and you can type in there and then you go back and press play and doodly goes ahead and, and creates that uh, writing uh, illustration for you. Wow. 
that's high tech. <laughs> yeah, and it looks so much more high tech than what it is. I, once you get doing it, you're going to say, I cannot believe this. It's that easy. Awesome. So once you have the recording, you went ahead and recorded yourself talking about a subject. Maybe you use Doodly. Maybe this is a, a step number two. You should probably start with just yourself here first. Um, how do you edit? And this was one area that I was extremely nervous to get involved in, but I started out with this product called Filmora and there's a lot of different editing softwares out there. I know um, some people use uh, the, the Apple, uh, you know, at home computer or uh, software editing. I'm sure that stuff works great. One of my friends just happened to use Filmora and I said, I'm going with whatever you know, so that if I have questions, Mm -hmm. I can reach out and please feel free to reach out to me as well. Um, but this is, there's a free version. I ended up after I started using it a little bit more, bought the, I think it's a hundred or a hundred hours or 90 hours for a lifetime membership. So again, not a subscription, it's just a one-time purchase. And what you can do is go in and edit your video. So here's a quick example of me editing a video. So I took a bunch of different takes and I got smart and started naming them scenes. So here's scene one, scene two, scene three. And if we played them, they're hilarious because they're very, very <laughs> bad. And then what I do is I simply drag and drop and go ahead and start editing the video. And here is uh, just an example of the video that I'm currently working on. And this is just for marketing purposes. Awesome. So those are really all the pieces of software that I use to create the videos. Um, I went and bought a $10 USB webcam from Amazon. And I also went and bought a like maybe 20 or $30 microphone and it plugs right in USB to my computer. Um, so I'm not going to brag that maybe I have the best vi uh, visual and audio equipment. But hey, it works for me. Have you added a selfie light yet? Uh, no, I haven't even added the <laughs> selfie light. So that I, you know, you're already ahead of me there. Colin, do you happen to have any examples that you could show us? Yeah, absolutely. So this was a video that I was using as a marketing tool just to illustrate the 4% rule. So we've all heard of uh, the 4% rule and safe withdrawal rates. And I was just explaining how living expenses, you know, of course, if that, the more that you, you need to live on, the more you need to have saved. So I just use Doodly as an easy way to illustrate the 4% rule. And uh, it, it was a, a really easy project. The Doodly video uh, just took a f uh, really almost like 30 or 60 minutes just to fill out, put that into the Filmora uh, editing tool, and, uh, and away we went. Awesome. So there's a lot of advisors that are probably watching this that have never, you know, used video before. What is any advice you have? How, how do you get started? Yep. So I think that the, the best way to get started is just to, to learn by making mistakes. And I know that sounds cliche, but if you started out making a video and you'd said, all right, I'm not necessarily going to post this, but I want to at least try. Uh, it would be worth maybe making a, a home video, you know, especially while we're all inside with the family. If you want to do a simple recording of just you talking about what's going on in your life or a quick home video uh, of, of the, the family vacation, you can add pictures or whatever. I would just simply start by downloading Filmora. That's the editing tool and then downloading OBS and that's the recording tool. Or if you already like to record with your phone, or if you like to record with another software, that's fine. You can import any of these recordings to the Filmora editing tool and then just drag and drop. Once you have all those different uh, videos, you're, you're good to go. Uh, so just getting started, I think, is, is probably the hardest part. I know that was a scary hurdle for myself. And your first video might take you all day long. The second video is probably going to take half the amount of time. And as you start to get in a rhythm, it, it just becomes easier. And I started out with zero editing experience. Before I started doing this, I have not made any videos whatsoever. Awesome. 
And just one last question here. How have you utilized video on your website and how you're interacting with potential new clients? Yep. So like I mentioned earlier, there's most people think of video as kind of the marketing side. Um, but then how do you use video as kind of a client service standpoint? Obviously, we started out the easiest way to do that would be to offer online meetings. I would highly encourage to at least start to look into that and, and offer online meetings. It's going to be really efficient for you. It's going to be efficient for the client and could potentially be a major value add, especially during times of coronavirus. Um, but then the second thing, uh, the second last trick that I have for, for folks here is the video, the personalized videos. So marketing is one thing. Online meetings is another. How do you, how, how do I create videos for personal use? And that is a little bit tricky, but the software that I use to, to do this is called Loom. And that's L-O-O-M. And I'll show a quick example of Loom here. And what this does is it's a software that you can just create really, really simple videos showing the recording. And what's unique about Loom is that you can send over a personalized link with even a password to get into the link. So that's what uh, is kind of sets it apart. You know, of course, if you're, you're talking, you're making a personalized video, you don't want to post this on YouTube, right? Uh, I'd say your client would probably get mad and, and uh, here comes uh, your <laughs> compliance officer as well. So how do you create this in a personal way? So the software, like I said, is called Loom and I'll show a quick example of a video. Okay, so here's the Loom dashboard. This is also a free software. You can see that I've made over 129 videos on Loom. And here's just a quick example. And this is just simply me walking through uh, a, a, an example client. And then you can just really share your screen. So here's a uh, Frank and Joanna example retirement client. And this is just me walking through a financial plan. So maybe I had a great meeting with Frank and Joanna example client. And, but they want to know what does it look like if, uh, some type of different planning scenario happens. What if we retire in three years or whatever uh, scenario they want to build upon the plan? Instead of us having to schedule a meeting for next week, I can simply, while I'm in the software, go ahead and quickly build out that scenario and then send them that example plan. They have that in their inbox. They can view it at any time. We're able, to, and then I'm able to go about my day. It's so much more efficient than having to close down all of the programs, get out of their plan next week, open it back up, you know, try to get back into the same mindset. And I've even started to use this software for notes. So if I'm going through a complicated scenario that has a lot of moving parts, you, we both know what it's like when you go into Redtail or you go into Wealthbox or you, whatever your CRM system is and start typing all of the notes and all of the different things that you talked about. By creating a video, you can just simply sit here and talk to yourself, and you're the only one that might look at this, but you can even show yourself some of the concepts that you were showing to your client, and that when you go back to the video, boom, you can pick up right where you left off. So I've found it to be a tremendous note-taking tool and also a tremendous tool to be able to share personalized videos with clients, whether they're a prospect and you're showing them what they can expect moving forward, or they've been a client for years and years, and you're just trying to add some value uh, by, by sending them a video of their financial plan. Well, that's awesome. I have learned so much today, and I just really appreciate you taking the time and um, stay safe. And everybody, we'll see you on the next um, session of How We Do What We Do. Thanks, Stephanie. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.